Hello everybody, Lurks here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to remove the dispenser drawer on your candy washing machine dryer and give it a good clean. And this is what we'll be covering in this video, removing the dispenser drawer, cleaning inside the drawer area, cleaning the inside of the dispenser drawer, cleaning the drum rubbers, and also there'll be a link on how to clean the filter to prevent an E03 error, and a link on how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. Now what you're gonna to need today is your partner's toothbrush for cleaning. Lux, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? And you're also gonna need a kettle and a cup to make a lovely cup of tea. Oh. This is the candy washing machine here and this is the Elise model or Elise. And this is a washer tumble dryer. And it's a really good idea to clean the filter on this washing machine every three to six months to prevent an E03 error. And there's a link above now about how to do that. To remove the dispenser drawer, just pull it out until it reaches a point where it won't go any further. And what you can do is you can just push down gently on this fabric softener level indicator, and then that releases the detergent drawer. Now this one is in not bad condition, but inside the drawer area here, you can get lots of mold and gunk building up. Now if you use these pods, that means your detergent drawer area should stay nice and clean. These pods just go straight inside the drum. Now make sure if you use a toothbrush inside here that you block up that hole there because if you drop your toothbrush inside there, that will be a world of pain. So take your partner's toothbrush Lugs. or if you've got a bigger brush, that will also be handy. With some hot soapy water, just start scrubbing. Now, if some of these nozzles at the top are blocked, you can just get a small wire or a dental toothbrush, a dental flosser, and try and clear those holes in there. And there's a link above now about how to disconnect a washing machine for recycling or if you're moving house. Lots of hot soapy water. Make sure it's nice and clean. Get rid of any mold and gunk. Now, if you use washing machine powder, this can get really dirty and moldy inside here. This is the detergent drawer. The fabric softener level indicator does actually remove. So again, take your partner's toothbrush, Lux. hot soapy water, just give this a really good scrub. Then take your detergent slash dispenser drawer and get rid of any mold and gunk in here. You can use a non-scouring sponge in here. Let's just give that a really good clean till it's spotlessly clean and sparkling fresh. Fabulous. Let's just put the level indicator back in. The inside of the dispenser drawer area is nice and clean. Let's just line it up with the grooves and just push it all the way home. Next thing we'll do is clean the drum rubber. Now, because this is a tumble dryer as well, you get lots of lint building up inside the drum rubber area. So take a non-scouring sponge, again with some hot soapy water, and just give this a really good clean. Now, if this drum rubber is completely dry, you could of course use a vacuum cleaner nozzle in here just to remove any bits of fluff and lint. And there's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine. Just give this a really good scrub. And that is the drum rubber all nicely cleaned and this is what it should look like at the end. Now if you do lots of washes at lower temperatures, this won't kill any bacteria and your washing machine could get pretty smelly. So it's definitely worth running a hygienically fresh washing program. And there's a link above now about how to do that. And another quick cup of tea. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.